Each month we recognize several employees who have served their county for at least five years by presenting them with special service pins that commemorate their commitment and their dedication to serving our community and its residents. Today I'm pleased to recognize and honor four employees who have been incredible assets to Dare County over the years. First we have Philip Merrill. Philip is an emergency medical technician for Dare County EMS and he's receiving his 10-year service pin. Phil is originally from Portsmouth, Virginia. His family's owned a house here on the Outer Banks his entire life, and he moved here permanently in 2005. Phil obtained his EMT certification in 2009. He began his career with Dare County EMS in 2010 as a volunteer, and later transitioned to becoming a paid employee in 2011. Phil has also been a volunteer firefighter for the Kill Devil Hills Fire Department for 14 years, and the Mans Harbor Volunteer Fire Department for four years. He has received several letters of appreciation for providing excellent service over his 10-year career with Dare County EMS. He has a true passion for public service. He is a dependable and consistent provider. Phil always delivers emergency medical care to the citizens and visitors of Dare County with a smile. Congratulations and thank you, Phil, for your hard work and your much appreciated dedication to Dare County. Next, we have Paula Rodriguez. Paul is an income maintenance supervisor for the Dare County Department of Health and Human Services Social Services Division, and she's receiving a 10-year pin as well. She originally worked for Dare County as an income maintenance case worker from 2001 to 2007. In 2007, she moved to Asheville, where she worked for Buncombe County Social Services for four years. In 2011, she returned to Dare County as an income maintenance case worker. She was promoted to supervisor in 2016, and she now leads one of the largest units within the agency, Family and Children's Medicaid. She's well-versed in Medicaid policy and keeps current with the ever-changing rules associated with the program. When COVID-19 hit, Paula was an asset in transitioning most of her unit to work remotely. She understands the importance of processing applications in a timely manner so that eligible individuals have access to health benefits. In today's work environment, her unit continues to ensure that eligible applicants receive health benefits assistance. Under her leadership, the unit has also met the established application processing timeliness standard for the last 24 months. Paul is an asset to the department and we look forward to many more years with her. Congratulations on your 10-year service pin, Paula. Next, we have Crystal Ambrose. Crystal is an income maintenance supervisor for the Dare County Department of Health and Human Services, Social Services Division. Today, she's gonna to receive her 15-year pin. In 1998, she began as an income maintenance caseworker and was promoted to the position of senior income maintenance caseworker in 2002. After taking some time off in 2005, Crystal returned to the agency in 2006 as an income maintenance caseworker. She was promoted to an investigator in 2008 and then to supervisor in 2016. Crystal supervises the adult Medicaid unit and non-emergency Medicaid transportation. She's very knowledgeable about the program she supervises and cares about the clients that she serves. Crystal encourages her team to not only assist individuals with their Medicaid applications, she also encourages them to connect individuals to other units within the agency for other forms of assistance. Crystal's unit has contributed to meeting the application processing timeliness standard for the last 24 months. She's a wizard with spreadsheets and forms, and congratulations on your 15-year service pin, Crystal. We look forward to many more years of you working with us. Next, we have Jessica Davenport. Jessica is a social worker, too, for the Dare County Department of Health and Human Services Social Services Division, and she, too, is receiving her 15-year pin. Jessica began her career with Dare County in January 2006 with the Dare County Department of Health and Human Services as a personnel specialist. In November of 2009, she transferred to the Department's Social Services Division, where she became an income maintenance caseworker managing presumptive Medicaid. She also took applications for adult, family, and children's Medicaid and served as the income maintenance caseworker for the Outer Banks Hospital Outpost Office. In the spring of 2013, she took her current position as Social Worker 2 in the Family Services Union of the Department's Social Services Division. Jessica is very knowledgeable and has one of the most compassionate hearts you will ever encounter. For this reason and many others, she is a great fit for her current position. Jessica says, I love my job. Her team hopes to enjoy another 15 years with her loving her job and representing and serving the Dare County community. 
like to congratulate all of our January Service Pen recipients. We thank each of you for your dedication to our community and for your continued service to Dare County.